Selective food. Selective food. Uh. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Hello, Bhaiya. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. I hope everyone is doing good. And uh, I would request consider my apology. Uh, as far as I couldn't be there in the previous meeting, as there was a guest here in Silet who visited here. So I couldn't uh, come in the meeting. That's it. Well, so far, we have been discussing, we have been talking about Bangladesh food and like food habits of our country. And in terms of this topic, uh, the, uh, I think it will be pretty tough for me to cover uh, most of the areas of this topic. Uh, so far, I uh, have earlier, earlier I have mentioned that I need to talk about facility food. Though I'm not a local locally facility or born facility, I'm here due to my educational purpose. And I have been living here since a couple of seven years, like last seven years I've been here since uh, 2017. However, uh, as I continue this topic like Bangladesh food, then I'll shift forward to the topic like selective food. Like, it is known to all of us that rice and fish makes up the Bengali. Like, uh, we are, if we are talking about the Bengali, uh, it is pretty much unimaginable, like Bengali and their food habits, it is unimaginable to, to talk about rice and fish, various types of fish, as it is known to us that our country is a riverine country and there is a sea in the backyard of our country. So there is various species and types of fishes are available here in our country. and. Most of them, like uh, sweet water fishes and saline water fishes, are available here. So uh, I don't think that there is a single day we do not pass without uh, consuming fish. So uh, whether we eat as in curry, like liquid curry, or like cook or seasoned, like so uh, we all are familiar with this like dishes then uh, that comes into our mind is like vegetable smashes we are used to like various types of uh, we are familiar to various types of vegetables uh, this known to tomato like potato like papaya then Lentils, sorry, not lentils. Uh, I was about to talk about tarosh. I don't know that. I forgot about forgot tarosh. Tarosh is okra or lady's finger. Okay, okra, okay, okra. Finger. O O K R A, okra. Okra. Okay. Then there are many winter vegetables as well in our country. Though uh, we are in uh, it is ongoing summer and. Uh, we are facing the second heat wave in our country, and it is getting so old here in Silet this in the second heat wave as well. The temperature heated like today, uh, it is 30, 36 degrees Celsius here in Silet. So, mm -hmm. however, we are trying to we are trying to be cool here, like drinking liquid foods or uh, drinking li uh, like juices or like uh, consuming liquid foods so that we can keep ourselves cool here that uh, we do not suffer from food poisonings or other like like uh, many temperature related problems which is caused by like missed food habits or missed food consuming consumption of uh well however so here in our country like there our food habits get diversified when in terms of like in, uh, when we are in any festives we eat a type of food and when we are in our casual days we eat uh, we are uh, accustomed to other food habits like in where there are 
the major festivals here in our country, like to feed eats, then for the people from Shanatandra Mabulambi, they celebrate several pujas and also there are from other people from other religions uh, they also celebrate their own religious traditions and customs uh, like religious festivals they also and most of the people from regardless of any religion we celebrate our festivals with like some special dishes like pilau biryani and other food habits and we serve various types of meats in the sky and which is common in most of the uh, like most of the houses of the Thai in our country well uh, I wanted to talk about many things like but like I am getting trackless and speechless so I should request Bhaiya to okay. Okay, that's fine. Then end okay. of my chair.